I'm getting ready to do a whole house carpet cleaning with this machine. Because of battery limitations, I will have to go and use this machine in its medium speed, and that should give us enough time to do 1,000 square feet of carpet. I'm also not going to do underneath any furniture, just to standardize it for 1,000 square feet, because I think it'll be pretty cool to see my wife, Ellie, doing a live cleaning with this setup right here, and then she will go underneath everything. And because she uses a different cleaning pattern than I do, uh, her results won't be weighed, but mine will. So let's see what the empty, blown-out bin weighs, including its little top filter. Yep. Make sure that's sitting properly. About right there. Okay, we're going to start out at 440.31 grams. This video is sponsored by DreamTech, who sent me this T10 for evaluation and review. If it seems like this machine is very quiet, it's because it is. Running it on medium, no real high pitch noise.
So this is very easy to handle, maneuver. No cord can be very nice. Especially trying to make a recording and manipulate everything with just one hand. Don't have to worry about flopping the cord around, tripping over it. My temptation, obviously, is to go underneath all this stuff, because this will fit underneath all this stuff. But we're saving that for my wife's live video. So almost done with the master bedroom. Let's get a spot right here. And now, I do this big hallway, which will be great to do without a cord dangling behind me. So tempted to go underneath stuff, but I can't for this video. Gotta limit it to a thousand square feet. Only thing is I wonder how I'm going to open the door. That's gonna be awkward here in a minute.
see if I can stretch my fingers enough. Yeah. Okay. I think I'll just leave that door where it is. Very, very, very quiet. Very pleasant sounding.
let's take a quick peek and see what we have for dirt. Now there's definitely a clump. You can see it move there. So let's head down to the first floor and finish up. And right now it looks like we're we're batting a thousand for no hair wrap. I'm not seeing anything. It's fantastic. It would go underneath there just fine. Can't do it in this video. two rooms. You might see me in this video actually going in between the chair legs and that would actually be because most of my vacuums go in between the chair legs.
So I mentioned it before, but I'll say it again. This is one of the most pleasant vacuums to use from a sound quality standpoint. No screaming, screeching, high pitch noises, at least on medium. On turbo, yeah, it's louder, of course. But if this is what I was forced to use, this is very pleasant to listen to. Well, geez, I almost made it, but it, it literally gave up, so we, we used it up. Huh, now I'm going to have to figure out, do I need to actually recharge this to finish the video? I think I might actually have to do that. Of course, there's not that much to pick up right in, right in this small area. I mean, there's, there's probably something like, uh, I don't know, less than 20 square feet of carpet that isn't that dirty. I think I might have to actually charge that up. So this was literally on its medium speed. If I can get you to see that. The entire time, as you, as you could fairly easily hear. Uh, that's it, position two. And let's see, can you see the blinking light? There, see that? So I'm out of power. So this didn't make it. So I'm glad I didn't try to do more than a thousand square feet. So you know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and charge this up and finish the small amount of carpet area, but it didn't actually make it. Oh, you get the idea. And after about 20 minutes of charging, that should be enough to get us through this last little piece of carpet. Okay, so we've now finished, and that's what's in there. You get your better view here. So I noticed that with this amount of dirt in the bin on medium, it doesn't 
really spin that well anymore. Yeah, it's just kind of stuck in there. So I wonder if I put it on high, will it move now? Ah. Okay, so in some cases, with that amount of dirt running on medium, that's not enough power for the cyclones to actually work. After careful examination, I have not found one single hair wrapped on this brush roll. So my wife's two foot long hair spread out over a much larger carpet than the test that I did previously makes it completely into the bin. And when we examine the dirt here in a second, I imagine we'll see it. But there is no evidence of even a single hair on this brush roll. Nothing whatsoever. So let's hear it for fantastic anti-hair wrap. So let's see what we did for a thousand square feet. Okay, I think that's centered. So I'm going to call it at 445.43 grams minus 440.31, the initial amount. We end up with a little over 5 grams, 5.12 grams of dirt for 1,000 square feet. How about we take a closer look at the dirt? going to be a lot of fibrous material, obviously. Let's see if there's anything else in there. Can I tap it a bit? Eh, not really. It's pretty much all we get. And here's this nifty little round filter here. And there's, there's nothing on it. That's clean. So the cyclones did their job. And if we take a good look at that, this is going to be fun to try to separate. So let's see. Let's get the fibrous material separated from everything else. So you know what I'm really not seeing with this? I am not seeing a lot of fine dust. And that kind of makes sense because on medium, the T10 has, see, 28 CFM and 31 inches of suction. Zero on me? Okay. So I'm going to do the best I can to separate it. Fibrous and everything else. Obviously a lot of fibrous material. I'll do what I can here. I guess I could be picking through this stuff for some time. I'm just not seeing a whole lot of fine dust. So there's, there's like medium and large grit in there, but there is not fine dust. So let's see, 4.35, 4 4.35, that's fibrous. And then non-fibrous material, as best as I can get it, adds up to just a little bit more. Oops, missed a little bit right here. There you go. So it comes up to close to maybe about 4.9 or so. So what this really means is that stick facts just in general, especially with this type of very gentle brush roll, they do a very good job, to be honest with you, surface cleaning. They do get a lot of dirt and debris that's sitting on the surface of the carpet up. They, they pretty much always have. It doesn't require a whole lot of airflow and suction to actually do that. But if Dream Tech or anyone else who makes a stick vac wants to go and try to really dig down into the pile, you have to go and get agitation 
that can separate the fibers, that can agitate the fibers. And if you have that, you know, maybe something with 40 or 50 CFM can do better than, you know, what this did on my carpet. But as it stands, I don't really recommend this particular machine for people that have a lot of pile carpet. But I can recommend this machine for people who have a lot of bare floors or just want to go and do surface cleaning on any type of flooring surface. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.